How to upgrade DIR Sync to Azure AD Connect and move to a new server at the same time. The upgrade slash migration process. Install and run Azure AD Connect setup on the source server in export mode. Install and run Azure AD Connect setup on the destination server in migration mode. Uninstall DIR Sync from the source server and disable staging mode on the destination server. Verify directory synchronization health. One source server, run Azure AD Connect in export mode. After Azure AD Connect is done installing on each server, just exit the setup wizard. You do not need to proceed to configure it. From the source server, go to start run and execute the following command. C colon backslash program files backslash Microsoft Azure Active Directory connect backslash Azure read connect dot exe slash force export. The wizard will then present you with the option to export settings from your existing DIR sync installation. You can just choose a location accessible on the network to save the export file. To destination server, install Azure AD Connect in migration mode. On the destination server, go to start run or open a command prompt and execute, as admin. C colon backslash program files backslash Microsoft Azure Active Directory connect backslash Azure read connect dot exe slash migrate. His will enable you to import that same file. Browse to the network location and complete the rest of the wizard. You need to be able to sign into Office 365 as well as specify a service account for directory synchronization to use. If you have an Exchange server on-premises, it may also ask you about preserving hybrid configuration, and of course if you wish to keep that functionality intact you would select that option. 3. Uninstall DIR Sync and Disable Staging Mode One more thing, you need to uninstall DIR Sync on the source server, and finally launch Azure AD Connect on the destination server, and disable staging mode. Until you do this, the new server will not be exporting any data to Azure AD. 4. Verify Directory Synchronization Health Of course, as with anything, it is worth verifying the success of this process. Check out the Directory Synchronization Health in your Office 365 portal, just to be safe. If you see no errors, then cheers, you're done.